hey guys um, today I'm gonna be recording a video for how to uh, wash your motorcycle and here's what I'm using s100 um, I bought it from the Harley Davidson store here in Fairfax Virginia um, and um, I just refill it in a uh, in a spray bottle just, and then I use it on the on the motorcycle so step one soak the motorcycle step two spray the detergent on the motorcycle very thoroughly make sure the detergent gets into every nook and corner and let it sit step three take a microfiber towel and since the motorcycle has been soaked for a few minutes with uh, detergent you can now take the microfiber towel, soak it of course, not with a dry towel, and you can use that to now nicely wash the motorcycle with the detergent still on it. If you see the towel getting dirty, you know, flip it over. Um, but if you have the need, you I suggest that you change the towel more often. Make sure that you also clean the, the wheels, the exhaust pipe, uh, the bottom of the motorcycle needs a lot of care and washing because that's where a lot of dirt accumulates. Step 4. Now that the motorcycle has gotten a good wash, give it a really good rinse. Step 5 is a repeat of step 3 and step 4 but this time more focused on the engine area because that is probably the place where you see a lot of dirt and grime over time the engine will start leaking and you will see some old spots also because that's the the engine area is closer to the ground it can have more dirt accumulate on that area so this step i'm just repeating step three and four to make sure that i clean up the dirt well also there are a couple places in that area where water can accumulate especially when soap water accumulates in those areas in the crevices of the engine uh, you know you want to take care of those in during this time spraying that with plenty of clean water is going to help make sure that there are no spots or water spots or soap water spots in those areas here i am just moving the motorcycle inside the garage Step 6 is the fun part. Now I'm using a lip blower to chase the droplets of water away. So all the places where the water tends to accumulate, I am actually going to be using a lip blower to literally dry off the motorcycle and it really works well. If you leave water on the motorcycle for long and if it and dries up you will see a lot of water spots and this is what will help you prevent those water spots is run off those water or cheese those extra droplets of water sitting on the motorcycle with a lip blower Now essentially what you're doing is using a dry microfiber towel to dry off all the surfaces that have little water left after you have used the lift blower. And don't forget those mirrors by the ways. Those engine fins on a motorcycle are really hard to dry off and this is how I do it. I also use this opportunity to check and make sure that the spark plugs are plugged well and none of the engine parts including the nuts and bolts have come loose. Now this is the part of the engine where it is hard to dry off because of the texture of the material that's used around this area. Uh, I find it hard to wipe uh, with a piece of microfiber cloth so I normally dab around the area to dry off the parts of the engine uh, or especially around this area and you will also find that there are a couple places around here that 
you will see some water accumulate and you want to make sure that those areas dry off really well as well so there are no water marks when you are all done those shiny chrome areas there give them a really nice wipe as well because those so up water spots really bad if you don't wipe them clean step seven now we're going to polish the motorcycle i have a denim paint cleaner that i got from harley davidson as well i'm going to use that to polish the motorcycle and bring the denim paint back to its full glory Again, a quick reminder that the microfiber towel has a tag that can scratch painted surfaces. So be careful with that. And also make sure that you polish underneath the gas cap. So I normally remove the gas cap and polish underneath those areas as well because those areas do get exposed to gas when you fill up the tank. And now it's time to enjoy the outcome of your hard work. Hopefully you loved this video. If you did, like, share, subscribe and hit that bell button so you get notified when I post future videos.